Harris. I'm one of the school counselors. I want to show you where the guidance office is. It's right across almost from the auditorium. And you come in here. And let me introduce you to the whole gang. Come on in. Hi, I'm Mrs. Truder. I'm the guidance secretary. I'm the first person you'll see when you walk into the counseling office. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hickey. I'm the new registrar here at Calvert High. I'm also in the guidance office. And if you have any questions about grades, just feel free to come see me. Hello, I'm Dr. Latia Perry. I have um, the alphabet A through E, and a way to remember me and my section of the alphabet is to say that we are all about excellence down here from A through E. Hi, I'm Miss Harris. I work with students whose last name is F through J, and one easy way to remember that is I'm a funny joke. Hi, I'm Miss Ponty, and I'm the school counselor for students who have last names K through Q. And we are the best group at Calvert High because we are royalty. We are the kings and queens of Calvert High. Hi, I'm Mr. Verlich. And I'm the counselor for students' last names R through Z. And being from Pittsburgh, I like to say the Ravens scored zero last weekend. So, go Steelers. Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Gross, the school psychologist. I am here in the building five days a week. Uh, my office is located here in Guidance. My office is the first door on the left as soon as you enter the room. I can help you with any social emotional difficulties that you're having, or even if you're having a bad day, I can provide you with some laughter. So if you see me in the hallways, just say hello. Thanks for stopping by. Hello Cavaliers, I'm Dr. Chevy White. I work out of the Office of Student Services. I serve as your PPW, your Pupil Personnel Worker here at Calvert High School. Um, I'm here on Wednesdays and Fridays in the Guidance Suite. If you guys have any questions, anything you can't find an answer to, feel free to come and see me. I am the go-to guy for Calvert Go Cavs! Hi guys, Nurse McDonald here. Hopefully you won't need me through the school year, but if you do, located right down the hall from Guidance. Have a great year! Hello, this is Miss Harris. I wanted to just talk for a quick moment about why you might come to the guidance office, uh, what counseling services we have. And a counselor in the school setting actually wears multiple hats. So this Venn diagram here, I'm trying to sort of represent the different kinds of things that we offer. We're first, an, we're also an advisor. So we want to make sure you pick the courses that are best for you, that are meeting your goals. We want to give you information on how you transition for after high school, because high school is four quick years of your life and really should be spent planning for what kind of college or training or career you want to do after high school. And then the other hat is we're a counselor. Um, we help you brainstorm ways to deal with stressors, to solve problems, to handle conflicts, to manage your emotions, which we all have, um, to recognize your strengths and your weaknesses. All of us have strengths and all of us have weaknesses. And the key is to find ways to best utilize our strengths and manage our weaknesses so that we can be as productive and successful and happy as possible. So we're here to help you meet those goals. Hello, I'm Dr. Perry, and I'm one of the school counselors here at Calvert High School. I have the letters A through E, and today I'd like to talk about how to get in contact with us. So let's look into that just a bit further. Okay, so you should be able to see that um, we have a slide here that's showing you um, how we suggest that you meet with us. And that can consist of you making an appointment. It is very easy to go ahead and click on our link. We have a bit.ly for each counselor where you can quickly make an appointment with us. Um, these are posted around school. They're on our Schoology um, pushouts and they're also on our guidance page. Another way that you can get in contact with us is through our email. And many of you do that. So if you have a quick question, um, you know, need a resource of some sort or need to let us know um, what's going on, you can also email us. And keep in mind that it should be during school.
school hours because after school hours, we are not monitoring our email 24 hours a day, okay? So I hope this was helpful um, in helping you get in contact with us and we hope to see you very soon. Hi Cavaliers, this is Miss Ponty and I wanted to tell you about a tool that's available to you in your classrooms when you feel like you're having a hot minute and you just need a minute to refocus. So you probably have seen these brain break boxes around. And if you're a student who was at Calvert High last year, these should look very familiar to you. But if you're a student who's new to Calvert High this year, these are our brain break boxes. So you're gonna have a brain break box in every single one of your classrooms. And what it is, is it's a box that that's, gives you some tools that you can use to take a break. Um, so some examples of things that might be in a brain break box are a stress ball or some play-doh or some colored pencils and coloring sheets and these things are there for you so that you can use them to kind of take a break when you're like feeling really stressed out or really overwhelmed or you just kind of need a minute to get yourself together sometimes having some of these things in your classroom can be really helpful to help you get through that hot minute now one thing we ask with the brain break boxes is that you be sure to leave the things that are in the brain break box in the box so that other students can use them when they're in that teacher's classroom. So don't be taking our stuff from our brain break boxes, guys. But we hope that this is something that you will utilize this year when you're having a hot minute or, you know, you just need a little bit of extra support to get through a hot minute. Hi, I'm Mr. Berlich here again, and I wanted to share with you one of the resources we have in guidance to help you maybe work through some stressful situations, and it's the Calm Room. It's a special area here in guidance, and we've set it up with some things to maybe, you know, help you work through your day um, if you're having some stress. So it, it's a nice quiet place, secluded in guidance. Um, if, if you need to come here, you need to contact us and we can make some time for you to be in here and it's just you know something you could be in for a short time to work through that you know maybe those few moments you need to get through we've got you know comfortable places to sit um, over here we've got some some visual aids there's you know an ipad we have something on here called the call map where you can work through there there's some drawing and coloring things to work through but just sort of a relaxing environment you know, if you're having a, a tough time, that you could come down and then have a few minutes away from maybe that stressful situation. Hi Cavaliers. So a new school year is starting, and while it can be a really fun and exciting time of year, it can also be kind of a stressful time because a lot of changes are happening, a lot of new routines and all that kind of stuff. Also, on the flip side, we're all human beings. So throughout the year, there are gonna be times when we experience stress, when we feel overwhelmed, feel anxious, all those kinds of things, or we just have hot minutes that we need to get through. But here's the thing to know. All of those things are very normal. They're normal human emotions, and everybody feels that at some point in time. Whether you're a student, whether you're an adult, whether you're a grandma, whether, you know, everybody feels moments of stress and anxiety. And it's really important that we take the time to really think about how we can handle those tough moments. And it's really good to think about it before you're in that spot. So maybe when you're feeling really calm, cool, and collected, hopefully right now you're feeling calm, cool, and collected. So it's really important to be proactive and kind of think about ways that can help you get through the minutes, those hard minutes ahead of time. So now you're going to hear from some of the counseling office staff about things that we do throughout the school day when we find ourselves feeling a little overwhelmed or stressed out or whatever the case may be. So listen to our ideas and see if you can think of your own about ways that you can get through those hot minutes. I'm Dr. Perry and one way that, or a few ways that I actually deal with stress or handle my stress is I have a Shipu puppy named Oreo and he likes to give me hugs. Like he literally lays his head on my shoulder and gives me a hug if I have a hard day. I like baking and I also like laughing and talking with my girlfriends and that's how I get through my stress. Hi, I'm Miss Harris. So one way I relieve stress is to sort of cut down on my stimuli for a minute. So it's really amazing that even 30 seconds of just quiet 
can really do wonders for me and kind of get me refocused. Hi, I'm Miss Ponty, and how I manage my stress while I'm feeling overwhelmed at school or at work for me is I talk. For those of you who know me, I love to talk and I'm a big talker. So it's no surprise that when I'm feeling stressed, I love to vent and talk about it. So if you ever see me in Mr. Verlich's office, he's my go-to guy because he's got a really good way of listening. And sometimes he tells me and gives me some good advice, but he's always my person who I go to for advice or when I'm feeling stressed out so I can vent to him. I feel like he's a safe place where I can go and just kind of talk about what I'm feeling and, and get it out. So I am definitely a talker when I feel stressed. Hi, I'm Mr. Verlich, and I wanted to share with you one way that I sort of de-stress here at school, and that is to get organized. For me, when things aren't organized, it sort of stresses me out. So I like to, to try to organize things, maybe make piles, make lists, figure out what I need to do so that I can accomplish what I need to accomplish. Hi, everyone. I'm Ms. Gross, the school psychologist. And one thing I like to do when I need to relieve stress during the school day is to make everyone laugh. If you ever need someone to make you laugh and make you have a better day, please come see me. All right, Cavs. So you have heard from some of the counseling office staff about things that we do when we know we're feeling stressed out or overwhelmed to kind of help us get through the day when we're feeling that way here at school. So now we want you all to talk about it with your class and your teachers and kind of share some things that maybe you do or maybe you can commit to doing this year when you feel stressed out or overwhelmed to help you get through that minute. So in order so we can all kind of share ideas and we're even thinking about putting up some signs around school and we want your ideas. So I've created a Padlet and I'll share that link in a minute, but we just ask that every class share an idea or two that they feel like is a really good one on ways that students can kind of, you know, handle stress or handle anxiety or feelings of overwhelmment or whatever the case may be. Um, we want to share your ideas. So put those on the Padlet and I'll share that link in a second. And also, um, please, you know, always remember that your counselors are here for you. You guys can come in and chat with us. You can email us. Just tell us what you all need, and we will do our best to help you. So we hope to see you soon, and I hope everyone has a great day. Thanks for listening for us today.